What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Right, so as you can tell from the title, it is new car day. I've been waiting for this time for a very long while now and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So it was um and ah and about what I wanted to get. But as you've seen from the title and the video, I decided to go for the three series. A lot of you guys would have probably thought I'd gone for the 135i or the 235i. But I wanted a bit of a step up from that. I wanted something more comfortable, more luxurious. Like the space inside the 135 just wasn't enough for me. I wanted to, to feel nice in the car. And obviously I want performance as well. So that's why I've gone for the 330i version of the car. It's still very quick, you know, actually still very nippy. I'm going to get onto that later in the video as well. It's a petrol. I switched from an Audi diesel to this and it's a massive step up honestly I've, ch I've definitely chosen the right car I'm very happy with it so without further ado let's show you the car and let's go for a drive as well it actually got delivered to me yesterday so I've only had the car for a day I've not done that many miles in it and as you can see it's absolutely pissing it down with rain but right let's go through the spec of the car so it's a BMW 3 Series G20 330i it's got the 2 litre 4 cylinder engine 260 brake 400 newton meters of torque so honestly it's still very quick it's actually rear wheel drive as well so still a very fun car to drive like, especially in the wet the back end is a bit squiggly so i've gone for portamau blue we've got the rear spoiler which i think looks very very nice very nice touch obviously got two exhausts either side 330i badge here i think i'm going to put an m badge on this side as well you know proper bmw fanboy aren't i to be fair we've actually got the 18 inch alloys not the 19 and the reasoning behind this is just i actually prefer the look of these and i'm absolutely a shocker for curbing my wheels so i thought i'm actually going to go for a smaller ones they're a bit harder to curb i'm going to look after them really well Another reason as well, I don't actually really like the shape of the 19s, but it was like an extra two and a half grand and I would have had to wait a very long time, like an extra three or four months. And especially with lockdown going on, I didn't know when I was going to get the car. So I thought, you know what, they're coming with these wheels. I'm just going to keep them for now. We might upgrade in the future, but I still think they look good. I still think they look really nice. It's got the M Sport Performance Pack on it. So it's obviously got the upgraded brakes. You can see the calipers behind the wheels there. It's got the rear tinted glass as well which is a nice touch and what i like is this black gloss around the door frames gives it a really nice touch it complements the car really well instead of having chrome chrome just makes it look dead executive i think from the front is where i think this car really stands out so the new grill is so nice we've got the full black grill we don't have the chrome around it i think the full black looks miles better in my opinion guys such a nice shape i absolutely love it honestly i can't wait to show you how it drives oh man i'm so buzzing for this very very nice i think the blue color is so good as well it's just a beautiful car isn't it you look at it from this side which angle do you think looks the best from i think maybe the back it's tasty from the back it's quite a big car as well you know right so let's go inside we've gone for the oyster leather as well so it's not triple black for once in my life i always go black but i thought you know what this cream or slash oyster is what they call it actually looks bang on and it's it's not everywhere it's just a few little touches so we've obviously still got the black headlining black seat belts black everything and the silver trim here apart from the seats and around here steering wheel is spot on the new bmw interior is so good this is why i decided to go for the new shape 3 series just because the interior stands out from the rest i think it's definitely a lot bigger a lot more spacious and a lot better than the new 135i and 235i i got in them and i just felt dead squashed do you know what i mean Obviously the performance would have been sick in them. 
and the performance is still good in this as well but i just wanted something a bit bigger and with sulfur as well now growing like i'm having to get loads of boxes in my car and stuff so i do need quite a big car and the, the space in the back is very good and the boot is very good as well so oh man very very nice steering wheel very chunky very thick the dash is just great i think the new bmw cockpit virtual dash and it's done like 50 miles so it's brand new it's brand it's a brand spanker the interior is so nice guys i'm so happy with it i think the color of the seats complements the color of the car really well as well the new steering wheel and inside is mega a big upgrade from the previous generation 3 series seats are dead comfy as well it's got the upgraded m sport seats the ideal i'm in the back here quite a bit of room you know quite a bit of headspace compared to my a3 and s3 one thing i just want to say is as well like it's not as racy as say like an s3 or golf r m135i it's not as racy but when you put it in sport plus it is honestly very quick i'm very surprised at how quick it is i think i was expecting it to be like you know a bit like there nah, but i think it would be close with an s3 and it's got a lot less brake it would be very close all right if you did a drag race between both of them it would be close even though it's got like 40 less brake anyway let's go for a spin now i'm very excited to show you it's the one in the back is nice it's the one look oh you guys know that cars just make me so happy they do and it's not from a materialistic point of view just growing up i was just always massively into cars like it's just great and i've always wanted a bm we finally got a bm plenty more car content coming guys let me know in the comments what sort of videos you want to see me do with this car maybe some meetups in the future as well could be the one all right we're gonna out for a drive now guys we'll take it for a spin we'll see what it's like it's obviously in the wet so it's not going to be as good i'll do another video in the dry as well so you can get a good comparison but it's still fun it's a new car the new car smell oh. I, I think only two people on my instagram guessed what car i was going to get everyone else was 135i 235i um people saying m3 m4 like m3 m4 would be nice but i'd have to wait for the new shape and they're not even out yet and i didn't want to get a 340i because i'd rather rather than getting a 330i i just want to get the m3 do you know what i mean so i've got this for two years after that i'm still i'm already looking at the next car after that it's hopefully going to be an m3 or m4 that is the goal anyway but i think it's a very very nice car for the meantime and i'm very happy with it guys as you can probably tell if you do enjoy the video as well don't forget to drop it a like it really helps me out yeah let's go for a spin in this bad boy so out for a bit of a drive the weather is pretty miserable I'm not gonna lie it's not the best conditions for a first drive but we're still gonna enjoy it right 330 like i said before 260 brake or there or thereabouts 400 newton meters and it's got a few different modes so comfort are in at the minute we've got eco pro we've got sport we've got sport plus and you obviously put it in sport plus it livens up the gearbox stiffens everything up wake and wake awakened wakes the engine up makes your exhaust a little bit louder and it actually does have the little sound that comes through the speakers um just a little bit a little bit but i think it sounds very good because it doesn't sound too electrolyzed if that's a word you know what i mean to a to like let's see what it back end does want to spin a little bit loves it it's the one it's very very good rear wheel drive was a good option for me i've never had a rear wheel drive car before and i think you can just have a lot more fun in them a lot more fun Yeah. 
very decent. The weather's just not great though. It's very smooth, the delivery of the power is very, very smooth. better than the previous generation guys so nice lots of room very spacious and the materials are just good quality DM Dima the only uh, interior that comes close I think is Merc but then again Merc's are not my scene they're not the one I was thinking about getting an A35 and I'm very happy I didn't get one it wouldn't be my scene an A35 this is the one for me guys So like I said guys, I got the car yesterday and I don't want to do anything stupid with it. I'm just going to be very careful for the, I'm going to be careful with it for the full duration, do you know what I mean? But if you're looking at these uh, videos after this of me driving through country roads and stuff, I'm taking it very cautiously because it's a brand new car. It's rear wheel drive. You've got to be a lot more cautious when it's rear wheel because you can lose the back end easy. So... Anyway, just thought I'd give you a heads up. Just came from nowhere. settle in a bit for the first at least 500 miles so when that's sorted we're going to go on some sick road trips honestly that is planned into the schedule um scotland maybe lake district your road trip could be the one yeah there's just so much car content coming as well i want to ask you guys if you've got a 3 series or you've got a 330i or a g20 3 series something like that are there any like tips and tricks to like little things that you don't know about that could help me or is there any like little mods or accessories that look pretty good with the car we've obviously got the black grille and the little black rear spoiler which are nice but any other adjustments you think should do to it let me know in the comments down below but yeah we'll wrap up the video when i get home so i'll catch my cup with you there so guys that is going to wrap up the video i hope you enjoyed it this is my new car for the next two years i honestly can't wait to share more experiences and more videos with you honestly this wouldn't be possible without you guys supporting me and honestly i just can't say thank you enough really for watching my videos and supporting me over the the past couple of years when i've been making these videos i wouldn't have been able to get this car would i so just a massive thank you to you at the end of the day gotta keep chasing your dreams keep working hard and in the end your dreams will come a reality honestly trust me i'm living proof of it sulfur is booming at the minute and i've got a new car anyway so like i said guys thank you for watching it means the world to me i'll catch you on the next video take care stay safe see you later oh it's a beast 
It's the one. Oh, it feels good to have a petrol car again, guys. Very good. <laughs> <laughs>